What's going on, everybody? <clears throat> Welcome back. FantasyTeamAdvisors.com, bringing on the bacon NBA DFS video. It is Saturday. It is the 23rd of November, and we are back with a full slate that we're going to break down. So if you've never been with us before, welcome. Hopefully you learned something and hopefully we have some fun with it. So anytime we have over five games on a slate, five or more, we give you three top, three mid, and three value picks at each position. We give you our projections, which are floor projections. They're early projections throughout the day, but they're a great start for you. If you've never been here before, hopefully we are able to help you. We do have a Discord that's absolutely free in the description of this video. We have a sponsor. We have everything for you. We also have giveaways every single day. Two stipulations for the giveaways. First giveaway, like the video. You gotta be a YouTube subscriber and you have to leave a comment on this video. The comment picker has to have your comment to pick it. If this video gets at least 50 likes, you have a chance at a free week of FTA+. 100 likes on this video, a chance at a free month, which is a $30 value. 150 likes, a chance at a yearly pass worth $150 or $200. And 200 or more likes on this video, a chance at a $500 lifetime pass. The second way, somewhere in this video, there'll be a keyword or key phrase. Listen for it, type it in, and that's it. You have a chance twice to win every single video. Now, we usually have a giveaway. Yesterday's video only had, um, let's see. Uh, it had 471 views, but only nine people commented, only 39 likes. So we did not hit the 50 likes. The keyword yesterday was outlier or outlier.bet. Only one of the nine comments had that. So you're an automatic winner. So all you have to see is Bruiser Raider, who's been a YouTube subscriber for three weeks. You you won that easy. You had outlier, the only comment that had outlier on there. So all I need you to do, Bruiser, like the video, email me, dfshelp1 at gmail.com. That's dfshelp, the number one at gmail.com and let me know if you have a username on the website if you do not let me know a username and email you would like and we will set you up and that's easy when only one person does it so that being said congratulations to bruiser but i know you guys can do it so let's get the likes on these videos let's get the comments but there is another way i'm gonna have another giveaway here talked about it yesterday but went ahead and did it yesterday throughout the day started a new youtube channel as well it's about history. So we're going to do history of. It's called It's the History of. And then videos, history of X. So whatever you guys suggest you want to hear the history of, we'll try to make a video about that. So anyone who subscribes to this channel and anybody who goes to this history of the NFL, 13-minute video, watches the entire video. So get the watch time up. Leave a comment and like that video. We are going. Anyone who does that today, we are going to have a giveaway for anyone who leaves a comment on that video in tomorrow's video for NBA. So make sure you go check it out. I will post the link down below to this channel, trying to expand out. Um, we're also gonna have a gaming channel uh, probably in the near future as well. So be on the lookout. We're doing a ton of things. We're very excited to do a ton of things. So if you are new to the channel, we're gonna go through the projections. Then we're gonna build a lineup on DraftKings. We're gonna build a lineup on FanDuel and we're gonna build a lineup on Yahoo. So make sure you stick around like this video, and hopefully, if you bring home the bacon with us, tag us on Twitter slash X with our at advisors underscore team tag, and then with the hashtag bringing home the bacon, would love to see that. So as always, outlier.bet, they are our sponsor here. Um, check them out. The link to sign up is down below. You get a seven-day free trial, whether or not you're doing DFS, sports betting, NBA, NFL, college football, college basketball, soccer, NHL, MLB, WNBA, they've got you covered. So what I like to use it for is to break the games down. But we look at this, the Knicks versus Utah is the first game on the slate in eight and a half over under. This is actually the early game, so we cannot play this game on the main slate. If you play the all-day slate, okay, but we're not going to cover the all-day slate. Detroit Pistons at the Magic. Yet. The Magic has a nine and a half point favorite, so always a little concern for a blowout. But Franz Wagner, love me some Franz Wagner here. 206 and a half over under is kind of low, though. Um, Portland versus the Rockets. We've got the Rockets as a 12 and a half point favorite. So if you do take some Rocket players, kind of be careful of that blowout because maybe if they don't put up the points that you need in the first three quarters, they may sit the last quarter. So that's always a concern. You got the Hornets versus the Bucks. The Bucks being an eight point favorite. Love me some Giannis today. 223 and a half over under. Memphis versus Chicago. Memphis is actually a five and a half point favorite. And it's a pretty high over under for 241 and a half. So I think we want to target this game a little bit more. 
Warriors versus the Spurs. You've got the Warriors as a three and a half point favorite. You've got over under of 225 and a half. And then you got the Nuggets at the Lakers. You've got the Lakers as a four and a half point favorite. I believe Jokic should be back. Good to go. Um, we have a 233 and a half over under. Now, usually we have MMA. My apologies if you guys were waiting on MMA. Did not realize it locked at 2 a.m. Central Time. Um, for no, it shouldn't have. I, my pop, my bad. Uh, missed it. Uh, we have next week off for Thanksgiving, um, and then M MMA is back on December seventh. So again, my apologies if you guys waited. I had I, I had absolutely no idea it would lock at 2 a.m. So if you guys were waiting on that, that's my bad. Again, I'm the only person that works here, and I have a I have two kids, so didn't even think about a 2 a.m. start time. But we are going to go over three top, three mid, and three value picks at each position. And these are early projections, like I said. So make sure you go check out the website a little bit later throughout the day, about two hours before tip offs, so about 4 p.m. Central, to look at simulations, projections, chalk, and stuff like that. So we've already got a bunch of people that are questionable. We've got the, the out people already. So value will open up throughout the day. But looking at the point guard position as of the early rankings, LaMelo Ball at the top at 55 or 50 fantasy points. Steph Curry with the questionable tag, but right around 45 to 50 fantasy point range. And then Damian Lillard against Charlotte, right around 44 to 48 fantasy points. Mid-tier at this position, we got Chris Paul, CP3, at 33 fantasy points. Jay Nivey at 33, and Scottie Pippen Jr. at 30. And then some value, not a ton of value, but we can look at this. D'Angelo Russell, about 24 fantasy points. Marcus Smart is questionable, but about 23 fantasy points. And then Cody Martin, under 4K for Charlotte, right around 22 fantasy points here. Moving to the shooting guard position, Zach Levine right around 41 to 43 fantasy points. Desmond Bain in a game that should be competitive, hopefully, 40 fantasy points. Jamal Murray for Denver right around 38 to 42. Mid-tier for this, we've got uh, Jalen Green at 32 fantasy points. Anthony Simons right around 30 fantasy points. And Shaden Sharp right around 28 to 30 fantasy points. Trying to find some value here. Um... Kind of just looking. Tim Hardaway Jr., right around 23 fantasy points. Jalen Wells, right around 22. And Tumani Kamara, right around 22 to 25 range, depending on the minutes that they're going to get. Moving to the small forward, you can see Aaron Gordon out. Keldon Johnson, questionable. Eamon Thompson, questionable. We've got those tags. Love Franz Wagner here. Uh, right around 50 fantasy points. Would not be surprised if he goes for more than that. I suggested him the other night, and one of you guys reached out and said, thanks for the suggestion. You almost took down the showdown or the tournament against the lakers 71 fantasy points had 37 points so you can see he's had multiple days with 30 plus points um would love that i love this matchup here for him versus detroit i love this matchup here <clears throat> uh we've got uh, brandon miller for charlotte uh 38 fantasy points michael porter jr at 33 fantasy points Mid-tier, not a ton of mid-tier picks here, but Santi Aldama at 26, Christian Braun at 26, and Malik Beasley at 25. And then looking for some value, um, just depending, um, you've got Julian Champagny. I know it's not how you say his name. That's how we say his name here. 22 fantasy points. We've got uh, Denny Adija at 20, and Josh Green right around 20 to 22 fantasy points. Power forward position, we got Giannis here, right around 58 to 62 fantasy points. Love this matchup there. We got LeBron James at 51 to 55. Will depend if he can get the run. Jaron Jackson Jr. at 40. Mid-tier here at power forward tonight, uh, Tobias Harris at 32, Draymond Green at 32, and Tariq Eason right around 30 fantasy points. Then we got to find some value here. I'm looking. Uh, we've got, depending... You got Jabari Smith Jr. right around 24 to 26 fantasy points. Jonathan Kuminga right around 22 fantasy points. And then Tristan Da Silva right around 20 fantasy points. So was it two nights ago that we suggested him as a value pick? Um, not bad. Again, we said if he could get around 20, we'd like that. 18 and a half is not bad, but he's playing the minutes are there. 32 minutes. And I like this matchup here against Detroit. Tristan Da Silva right here at 3,600. If he could hit that 18 plus it helps out. Now, I did have a question yesterday, or people had a question. Do you want to look for three or four, 4,000 or less players to build with? Not necessarily. It just depends. Every slate's different. 
if the big guys are ruled out maybe a little bit later on throughout the day, you might find the big value plays. So put a couple of those in your lineup and then build with the big guys, like a Giannis here and a Jokic. If you could fit both of those guys in there, but also find like a Lindy Waters who's under 3,500, you're able to kind of make that little um, value maybe open up and work for you. It just depends. Then we go to the center position. Jokic at the top. Um, did he play Friday? He did play Friday. 39 minutes, 73 fantasy points. He obviously had 12 days off, which is a ton of days. Wasn't really sure, you know, having that many days off. Having a kid, I get that, but how it would affect him minutes-wise, it didn't affect him. He had no effect in, or no affection. Um, 73 there, 92 of the day. Yeah, he's back. Um, it is a back-to-back, -back, so I don't know if he's going to be on any sort of uh, minutes restriction because it is back back. He didn't play for 12 days, but it's Jokic. I fully expect him to play. I'm projecting him at 70 fantasy points. Um, it's a steep projection, but I like this matchup for him. We got Anthony Davis right around 55 to 58 fantasy points. Victor Wembanyama. Now he's he was out the other day. He's questionable with a knee. Um, could be his fourth straight game missed. Has not played since the 15th of November. I've got him projected 47 right now. But again, if it's the knee and he's on a any sort of minutes restriction that I'm probably a little bit scared to use him, especially since he's 11,000 on DraftKings. Mid-tier picks here. You got Alperin Shinjin at 45 fantasy points, Nikola Vucevic at 42, Draymond, or, uh, Jalen Duran at 30 fantasy points. And then trying to find some value, uh, you could look at Donovan Klingon, right around 30 fantasy points. Uh, Musa Diabate, I don't know how you say his name. If you guys know how to pronounce it, let me know. Minutes, they're weird. 32 minutes the last game, 16 the game before. 28 fantasy points at 4,000. In this matchup, I don't mind. As long as he gets the run there, uh, I don't mind him. Got him projected right around 29 fantasy points at that price as a huge steal today. Um, and then Grant Williams, same game, 27 fantasy points. If you want to find a little bit of different value, you could look down to Brandon Clark in that same game, 23 fantasy points, or Mo Wagner right around 22 to 23 fantasy points. So there you have it. Those are the projections. Those are early projections with basically the floor projections. Wait throughout the day. We're still waiting on a ton of news for people that are in or out. So that is why I tell you, keep up, stay on Twitter. Uh, make sure you go check out fantasyteamadvice.com, projections, um, simulations and our cheat sheet the, in the afternoon is usually what I tell people. So that being said, we are going to build a DraftKings lineup. We are going to build a FanDuel lineup and a Yahoo lineup. These are early lineups. Obviously, we don't know if people are going to be in or out, but I, we got, we're making GPP lineups as well. So one we didn't talk about, but Jalen Suggs, I'm going to put him in there in that Detroit Orlando game. Um, as you guys know, we like this matchup. Orlando being a nine and a half point favorite, check some of these things out because both sides, they're going to have to score. And hopefully, we're there to help them. Uh, in that same game, Tim Hardaway Jr., I want to get him in there. I also want to get Franz Wagner in here. Um, I love Wagner in this situation. I don't think he's going to put up 70 plus again, but I love this little game stack here because it, you'll see. I, I think this is going to be one of our favorite games to be stacking today uh, small four desmond bain put him there at 7100 get to the center position if he does play love me some musa uh again projected pretty high early on at 4400 i love this and then we got to find those value plays lindy waters jr or the third um only put up two and a half fantasy points at 15 minutes last game uh yesterday not what we'd want obviously did not help us out no points in that game. Two assists. That's it. The minutes were down. Um, the game was close. That's the problem. Um, so early, Lindy Waters. But if you're scared to use him, I completely understand. This is a huge value play at 3,000. Don't know if he's going to get the run. Had 20 minutes last game against Atlanta. 19 fantasy points at 3,000. I'll take that. But you can see the minutes were not there. Um Okay, so it looks like he'll be playing for for the time being at 3,000. I am okay with that. 
Now we have a utility spot at 12-2. We can fit everybody in here, but into Nakopo. And we're going to fit Nikola Jokic in here. So that is one GPP lineup. The only ones that kind of scare me a little bit are Lindy Waters. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's the big value. But you can see, under 4K, we've got two players. 4K and under, we've got three with Tim Hardaway Jr. It is a tournament lineup. Things can change because the value plays that are in there, they might not be in there later. That is what I tell everybody when you're building a lineup. So now let's build a FanDuel lineup. Scoring's a little, or uh, pricing's a little bit different, um, but I think we're able to build. I think I want Jokic in there. I think he's going to be one of our core plays for today. I think I want Scottie Pippen in there. Uh, we didn't talk about him, but he is projected, and he's only 5,400 there. CP3 I want in there against Golden State. Um, I just like that matchup for him. Tim Hardaway Jr., same thing we just talked about. Uh, love that game. Detroit, Orlando. Eamon Thompson, uh, or Osser Thompson's questionable. Eamon Thompson um, is good to go at 6,000. Small forward, we got um, Desmond Bain. We already talked about that. Jalen Wells is a tournament option at 4,100. So now we need two power forwards. Same game with that Memphis-Chicago game. And then now we are at 6,200. We could go Goga, who we've used him for the Magic. 32, down game against the Clippers. 35, we've used him. When we've used him, he's put up some big 30-plus numbers, especially at 6,100. You got Dalton Necht. Um, value option there. You can see a couple of good games. Then the one game we used him against Orlando did play 39 minutes, 23.3 fantasy points. Unfortunately, that that is what he gave us, but he's still there. You got Jeremy Grant. You got Draymond Green. So you can look at Draymond Green, 27, 36, 30, 35, 43. A down game there, 29 minutes there. Um, but again, if you look at Golden State, um, that game there against the Spurs should be a close game with a 22 and a half over under. So if you look at him game log wise against San Antonio, I don't know if he's played them this year. He has not. Um, so you can always look at that. Um, but the problem is, yeah, Green was ejected from Friday's game against the Grizzlies after being assessed two fouls, two technicals. That's the only problem using him. He's got a temper. He gets ejected a ton. Um, so I'm probably off of Green a little bit. I'm going to go Dalton, or I'm going to go Goga here in this match. Or I can't go Goga because he's center. Um, so let's go power forward. Um, and just depending on what you want to use, you could also look at, if we go Wagner, which I think I want to get Wagner in there. Small forward, power forward. So if I put Wagner in there, our power forward's 4,900. Trace Jackson Davis is a, a value play. Played 18 minutes last game, 21.6. Um, you got Mo Wagner. You got Isaiah Stewart, Jonathan Isaac. Um, Sarek, now he's probably not going to play as much. Yeah, so last night with Jokic back, I only played three minutes. So he's probably out. I think I'm going to go J Trace Jackson Davis. So I'm going to go Scottie Pippen at the top. I'm going to go all the way down to Jokic. Things can change, like a Jalen Wells could change. Eamon Thompson could change. It really just depends. Um, if we go to shooting guard at with 200 left, instead of Eamon Thompson, what are we looking at? Anthony Simons, Dasunmu, Delano Banton, who, yeah, it really hasn't done much. Um, I'm going to go Eamon Thompson. We're going to keep that. So we left 200 on the table, and that is our FanDuel lineup. And before we get to our Yahoo lineup, the keyword of the day for you and I is history. Because I want you guys to check out It's the History Of. I want you to subscribe. I want you to like all the videos. We do have shorts. Make sure you check out all the shorts for the algorithm. It would be helpful if you guys did. And leave a comment on this video. Would absolutely love to get this channel up and going um, and suggestions of history, things you guys would like to learn. So now we get to Yahoo. It is a little bit different. If you've never played it before, I know not a ton of people play it, but I wanted to get it in here. I got to get Franz Wagner in here. I love me some Franz. Um, I think Jokic makes sense as utility. Er, because I want to open up the other value. He is very expensive at $60. I completely understand that. Um, I want to get CP3 in there. Um, I love that matchup for him. Shooting guard. Suggs in that Detroit Orlando game. I love that there. <coughs> uh, Christian Braun a little bit. Even with Jokic back, I think I think he's gonna get 
the minutes that he needs for his price. Uh, Tumani Kamara at $13. Now we are at $14 for two different players, a forward and a center. Um, it just depends, but Peyton Watson is a cheap option at 13 And now we're at 15 for a center. Um, and again, Musa. I think we could get him in there. I think he gets the run. I think he gets the minutes. The average lineup here is averaging 32.9 throughout all of the players there. Obviously, Jokic is at the top at 67, but you've got Franz at 41. you got Christian Braun at 30. you got Jalen Suggs at 31.8. So there you have it. Those are your FanDuel lineups, your DraftKings, and your Yahoo. We're going to save that lineup. The website is fantasyteamadvisors.com. If you have not checked out the NFL content yet, make sure you check it out under the NFL tab. You can check all of that out. If you do want to sign up, it's $10 for a week, or we, do, we still have two coupon codes left. NBA is back is the promo code for the yearly pass. Normally $199 if you use the promo code NBA is back. You can get it for $74.99. So that's what I've got for NBA today. Make sure you come back tomorrow. Make sure you go check out the other YouTube channel. Uh, like this video and leave a comment. Make sure you check out everything else for every other sport. We've got a ton of NFL content coming out today. We're going to have a video breaking down the main slate for the NFL. We're also going to have a stacks video. We're going to have it all for you. So that's what I've got. Good luck today. And as always, let's bring up some bacon. Peace.